Hello friends. This is our second episode of the New Zealand series. We stayed a couple of nights in Queenstown mainly for the Milford Sounds tour. We had some time in the morning to look around Queenstown. View of the remarkable range was fantastic. We went up the Queenstown hill to get some panoramic shots of the very beautiful Queenstown. I must say we have to go back to Queenstown at some stage to spend bit of more time maybe in the summer time to capture some unique videos. In this video we covered our amazing tour of Milford Sound on a very rainy and windy day and on the extremely choppy water of the fjord. We took a glass tub bus tour to Milford Sounds including a ferry cruise on the fjord for a couple of hours. From Queenstown it was a 3 and 1/2 hour journey to the Milford Sound ferry terminal. The bus journey takes you down the road towards the south end of the South Island before going up again to the Fiordland National Park of New Zealand. Soon day became very cloudy and started to rain heavily as expected in wintry June. Our first stop was at a town called Te Anu where we had a little lunch. There was a massive statue of a bard called Takahe Bard. These bards only live in this area of Melford Sound. We continued our journey via the Te Anu Downs through National Highway 94. By then it was pouring down heavily, raining so heavily that our bus couldn't go any faster. But the experience and the view was just breathtaking. Look at the hundreds, maybe thousands of waterfalls coming down the mountain, the streams, the temporary streams due to heavy rain. We stopped at the Mirror Lakes, beautiful spot on the way from Te Anu to Milford Sound. One of the many Photoshop opportunities along the way. Obviously, we couldn't see any reflection in the heavy rain, but look at the surrounding views. The water streams coming down the mountain slopes. heavy rain mixing with the downstreams from the melting glaciers unbelievable and fascinating beauty all around Other side of these mountains are more than half submerged in the water, creating the Milford Sounds, a fjord in the southwest of New Zealand's South Island within Fiordland National Park. Visibility was extremely poor because of heavy rain but look at the beauty it's just fascinating although it was extremely windy and rainy and miserable weather wise but we were very glad that we decided to go on this tour at this time of the year because we can only see these thousands of water streams coming down these steep mountains only during these winter months It was extremely windy and rainy by the time we reached the ferry terminal for the short cruise. I don't think it was a great idea to continue with the Milford Sound cruise in such a treacherous condition. However, our tour and the cruise continued, probably a business decision by the tour company, and we had an adventurous and very unwanted experience.
Soon we were passing through an open sea with more than 4 meters swelling on a small ferry. We felt really sick, couldn't stand more than a few seconds. It was extremely choppy water, but we went out on the deck to take some shots anyway. Views were truly amazing. In this rain and wind, the vertical rock-like hills in the middle of the ocean, with many waterfalls pouring down around us. Perhaps summer will give this Milford Sound a completely different beauty with lush green, but this wintry view was truly mesmerizing. Although we didn't enjoy the weather and the choppy water, we were feeling very sick, but this was complemented and compensated with the amazing view that we were enjoying. Please keep watching our New Zealand series, as in the next episode, we travel to Rotorua, the major centre of geothermal activities in the New Zealand's Northern Ireland. Thank you for watching and subscribing to our YouTube channel.